Say got the way I be glistening, y'all. Photo Bugatti, you mention me, y'all. Diamonds stay taped in my portfolio, y'all. Yo you guys, what is going on? It's Blazonary here. And today in this video, I'm gonna be doing a jewelry collection. It is one of my most highly requested videos and I needed to do it for you guys. I have jewelry pieces that you guys have never seen before. Pieces that I just wanna talk about and explain because a lot of them have some stories attached. If you've been a subscriber of my channel for quite some time, you've known that getting a piece of jewelry like my chain was something very important to me. So making this video today is honestly just a huge honor and I'm super thankful for the opportunities that I've been given to get these pieces of jewelry. To show my appreciation for y'all and everything you guys have done for me I want to do something for you and give back so what I have here size 9 revenge storms brand new you can keep them you can sell them in order to win you guys have to click the link down below in the description it's gonna take you to a website where you just have to literally subscribe to my channel give me a follow on Instagram maybe give me a follow on snapchat too. you get a bonus entry for doing that and you guys will be entered into this giveaway one week from today I'm gonna be picking the winner so you guys have to stay tuned to my Instagram story at John Carla perch to find out when that happened. Click the link in the description and please make sure y'all smash the thumbs up button on this video. I'm trying to get at least 30,000 likes on this video. And if you haven't already, make sure y'all subscribe to The Blazing Fam. An important note is that I keep all my jewelry in a safety deposit box and it is very important that you guys, if you are starting to amass some sort of a jewelry collection of your own or some sort of small collectibles collection, that you guys look into getting some safety deposit boxes. It's important because it can keep your stuff safe from fires, floods, things like that. It's just like another extra layer of security too. Without further ado, let's get into my jewelry collection. I'm gonna start off with my first ever jewelry box. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some of my OG jewelry pieces. I wouldn't wear today, which is why they're in here. They're more just like things to look back on and be like, damn, I own that. So we're gonna start off with my first chain that I ever got. So that right there is the first chain that I ever got and I got it as like a baptismal kind of gift. I was baptized as a kid, but like I never followed up with that stuff. Long story short, that was given to me and it was also given to me with like a little cross pendant on it, which I have, but I need to find it. This one's a herringbone chain. This just kind of has some sentimental value to it. So yeah, I like it a lot. Up next are two bracelets. This one I think is a fake one and this is like a white gold one. So it's, it's pretty cheap. I don't wear those anymore. This right here was just a, uh, a random piece. I don't even really know what it is. I just, I just have it. This is actually a silver bracelet right here that my dad got me as a gift in Mexico. He paid really cheap for it because he got it straight off of like an island. So it was pretty cool. And this is the last piece in uh, this little box right here that I'm going to show you guys. Right there is uh, a piece that my grandma gave me right before she passed away. I used to wear that uh, a lot. It doesn't fit my wrist anymore. So that was all jewelry that is not very expensive or it's just stuff that I don't wear anymore. It's just like for keeps. But in these two boxes right here, we got some, some crazy. I'm pretty proud of a lot of the stuff in both of these. And I'm gonna show this one last. This is my baby right here. Let's talk, let's talk about the important stuff too. So right here, this is a jewelry case that my mom got me recently for my birthday. Shout out to my mom because I actually needed one pretty badly. The first thing I wanna show you is the cross pendant because I found it and it's just, it's cute. It's a little, it's a little guy. And then I also have some other smaller pendants. So I'll just show them pretty quickly. That right there is the first gifted pendant that Aviani gave me, the jewelry company in New York. This is a gift from my mother, from my grandma. And this is also a, another gift from my grandma who passed away and that uh that symbol right there is like an italian good good like s symbol it, i'm not honestly sure i don't want to also spread false info but yeah these right here are gucci cufflinks i still haven't got a chance to wear them yet but hopefully they're gonna come out pretty nicely one day this right here is a gucci lion necklace can you move that stuff over it's pretty cool, but I don't really get to wear it that often because I'm not usually wearing silver jewelry This next one is the Gucci ghost pretty similar to the lion instead. It's got a ghost right here It's got a Gucci chains on the back and it's still silver But I usually wear this one a little bit more than the lion and then I also have two watches that aren't very expensive But I still felt like I should show them because they're kind of important. This one right here is a bull of a watch This is the first like designer watch that I bought myself. I think it was like 500 40 bucks, but it, it was just very important to me that I got it because it was my first nice watch and I wore that for a very long time up until last year 
when I ended up getting this TOG Hero watch for 900 at an auction online. Pretty cool, and I got it used. The last watch that I have, which is my big boy, I also gave my dad the same watch for Christmas. This is my stainless steel Rolex right here. This thing is beautiful. These are actually 20 year old Rolexes, believe it or not, and they're still working and looking perfect. So that, that was a huge moment for me, being able to buy my dad that Rolex. It means a lot to me, that watch. This right here is like the first real ring that I bought myself. It's pretty cool, except the diamonds on it are kind of weak. They're uh, SI1 diamonds, so that means that they're not Vs or anywhere really close to Vs, yet the ring is still pretty and you know i wear pretty often actually and then the last ring that i have is this gucci lion one and i used to wear this one all the time this thing is really cool all right up next we got some shades uh not i don't know if these are even considered jewelry but i just figured i'd show them these are gucci and these ones are louis one is gold and one is silver this one's like more bluish grayish this one's more goldish then of course, I'm sure you guys have known or maybe you haven't even noticed, but I have two earrings and these were uh, my Christmas gift this year for my parents. They're not like VVs or anything like that. I had their SI diamonds and their clusters. So I'm hoping one day I can upgrade, but as of right now, like they're earrings, I think they look fine. So in here, the last pieces that I'm gonna be showing you guys are the craziest out of my jewelry collection and they were the most expensive and they took the most time to get. Uh, I have some chains and stuff that I'm gonna show you, but they're still pretty expensive and stories attached to them. And before I do that, I'm just gonna show you quickly the Louis Vuitton phone case. I hate this thing, so I don't even use it. It's too bulky, the buttons suck and i mean this is not a daily case so right up in here we have a bracelet that i bought when i got that ring that i showed you guys the first gold and diamond ring this right here is a gold and diamond bracelet the diamonds are also clustered and they're not like crazy set this was only a thousand dollars but this was the first piece of diamond jewelry that i bought that was pretty much this expensive so it's pretty cool i like it a lot and i do pretty much wear it a lot of the times that I go out. This is a Supreme uh, pendant that I got a little while ago. It's just uh, Benjamin Franklin. Give you more of an up close look. Here are all of my gold chains. Um, so I'll talk about this one first. This is a four millimeter thick gold rope chain. So the gold value on it, I honestly would have to calculate it and check. I had three chains prior to this one and I kept trading them in and adding a little cash each time to work myself up to this. So the first one I bought was a two or three millimeter and it was like really small and it wasn't that expensive. Traded it in. I got a lion gold and diamond pendant. I'm gonna try and find a picture. So if I do, there it is. I got that with it and I wasn't really feeling the combo. So I traded both of those in, got a thicker chain. And then this one is the one that I ended up with. Got it right here. This right here is a six millimeter gold rope chain. Excuse me, that was a five millimeter. This is a six millimeter gold rope chain. And this one that I, I paid, I think it was maybe a thousand flat for, which is heavy negotiating involved because I ended up buying all the other chains. And I basically told the dudes, I was like, yo, thousand. And I actually went to go uh, trade this in uh, just to see how much it was worth and they were gonna give me a thousand credits. So I think I did pretty good. You know, even Steven, usually you lose in the jewelry game. Sometimes you don't. These pieces that I'm about to show you, I didn't lose on because they're a little different. Uh, this is the last one that's pretty normal. This one is a gift from my homie Eli. It was like a deal we kind of worked out for my birthday. So shout out to my boy Eli. He's also got the same one and we even have matching tattoos. That's my dude. So this one right here is a pretty heavy hitter for me. This right here is a diamond and gold Aviani pendant. This is a very important one for me because it basically welcomed me into like the Aviani family that I rep their chains. Like this chain right here is from them. So I've done some deals with them and this is like more of like a promotional kind of chain. Like when I wear it, I am advertising Aviani yet it's still ice. So it's a great gift. Like, thank you guys. It means a lot. That one is VS1 diamond. So these diamonds right here that I'm about to show you are very, very, very high quality diamonds because they're from Aviani. Not an advertisement, just straight up good work. This one right here is a silver prototype bracelet that they actually gave me as a freebie for when I bought my other bracelet, which I'm about to show you guys. This one is just the prototype they did. They did it in silver and they blessed me with it. You know, I could give it a, like, you know, the Valpal. 
when we go out somewhere. And this one is the, the big boy right here. This is super cool. This is a gold and diamond spike bracelet. It's an extremely good deal. And a low pump actually has one now, but I had it first. So this one, this one's really cool. I'm actually gonna put it on. It's literally a lethal weapon. Yeah, this one's fire. Right in here, we have my diamond fangs, which you guys ask me all the time, yo, Blaze, why aren't you wearing them? Like when I go to sneaker cons and stuff, like I, I used to wear them a lot. I forget them every time. So I'm gonna try and not forget them. But these are my two diamond fangs right here. I think these ones are VVS. And lastly, you guys already know what this one is. If you don't and you're new to the channel, then. I say come, we'll see you at the hotel. This is super prized for me. This thing right here is my baby. I just gotta go ahead, show this one some crazy love. This chain right here was a major pinnacle of achievement for me in the fact that when I bought it, it was the most expensive thing that I ever purchased at a single moment at one time. And then of course, you already know, had to add the pendant to it. Got a bust down blazendary on there in the Metallica inspired theme logo. I've always used this logo and I figured it would be a great chain to get made for my first one because it was this was on all my merchandise, my banners, my logos. I love this logo and so I had to get it made into a chain. Had to get it immortalized. We got the bail on it, which this thing right here is a monster on its own. And then of course the blazendary two-tone diamonds on the back and diamonds on the lettering. I'm getting a custom plus 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 chain. It's gonna be so sick. I can't wait to reveal it to you guys. So here are the prototypes of it right now. It's getting made. It's gonna go on a diamond uh, tennis chain. And the best part about those chains is I'm gonna be making them affordable and they're gonna be gold plated. So you guys are gonna have a chance to get your own Blazendary plus 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 chain. It's gonna be in the coming months. So you guys are gonna have to keep your eyes peeled. I gotta get mine first so we can start working on the prototypes. But as far as that goes, guys, I hope you enjoyed my jewelry collection. I loved explaining some of the stories behind the pieces and I hope you guys found it interesting. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great night day. Whenever you're watching, it's Blazendary. I'm out. Stay positive. Peace.